You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. I'm back. Road Rants for Black and White Live. We have talked a lot on this channel about the quarterback competition with the Patriots. Mac Jones, the overall number 15 pick in the NFL draft for this year against veteran former MVP Cam Newton. Last year, Cam Newton improved with some completion percentage improvements. Uh, however, Cam also struggled with some very elementary throws last year as well. Well, here comes the rookie out of Alabama. A 77% completion percentage and a boatload of touchdowns coming into the NFL and he lands in New England. A perfect fit. Mac Jones made his debut the other night and he looked really good. He could run that offense. He was making checks at the line. He was adjusting his protections, and he was very, very accurate. Well, a while back, Bill Belichick pretty much said, hey, Cam Newton's going to be the starter. Except Cam Newton's not the starter. Here we go. Cam Newton has not been told he's the week one starter. This is from Miles Simmons. Since the Patriots drafted Mac Jones, head coach Bill Belichick has maintained Cam Newton will be the team's starting quarterback until someone beats him out. Or in other words, Newton is still the starting quarterback for now. But with the regular season less than a month away, there's no guarantee Newton will be behind center for the opener against the Dolphins. Newton addressed that on Monday while saying initially he deflected you know the answer to that question. He eventually explicitly set out what he has and why he hasn't been told. Y'all sitting up here asking silly questions to me, and I'm looking at y'all the same. I don't know what y'all want me to say, Newton said, uh, via the Boston Herald. You know, you know that. You know he hasn't said that. So, for you to ask that question, it is what it is. So every single day I come out here with the intention to just get a little better. That's the only thing I can do that I can control. But as far as somebody else's analogy or interpretation for what week one is, I'm trying to focus on what tomorrow brings, making adjustments in tonight's meetings. Newton went on to add that there's so much time between now and the first game of the regular season that being named the starter isn't the focus. I don't take your questions personal. I just want to want you guys to understand everything y'all know and I know. There's no hit of motives or things like that. I do know th those things like that I can't worry about because each and every day I don't necessarily care about who's starting. I mostly care about making sure I put the best product out there for me and I know Mac is feeling the same way. I know Brian Hoyer is feeling the same way everybody else going down each and every position. As far as week one, we've got so much to worry about prior to week one, and that's where my focus is. With Jones continuing to make progress, there's a chance Newton won't be New England's QB1 by the time the season starts. But a lot can have it happen over the course of a month. Newton does have the advantage of experience in the league and in the Patriots system, and there's part of me that believes that Belichick does want to see what Cam can do now that they've got actual weapons on the team. I, I've said prior, I'll say it again, while everybody was sort of ripping on Bill last year after Tom left and saying, oh, look at the Patriots without Tom, I was sitting back going, wow, this is a team that's down at least five players because they set out from COVID, including defensive starters. We know Bill's teams would have been at least really good on scoring defense. Okay, that's kind of his M.O. And with a lack of offensive weapons that was on that team, that team went seven and nine. And I thought, I was like, wow, that's one of Bill's better coaching jobs. Considering how Cam Newton played, the fact that he went on the COVID list, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. 
I was like, you know, I mean, it's not like he went two and fourteen or three and thirteen or four and twelve. He once he went seven and nine, played a game against Kansas City, and nearly won the game. Nearly won the game. And I was really surprised sort of by that reaction over last season for the Patriots. It very much did surprise me. Uh, there's part of me that believes that Bill is thinking, okay, we got two quality tight ends now. We got two quality wide receivers. Kendrick Bourne is a good third or fourth receiver, uh, really a good third receiver. Uh, and you've got N- Nelson Aguilar who can finally stretch the field. And there's that kid, Chris- Christian Wilkinson, that uh, that Mac Jones was working with and throwing to a lot the other night. I think that kid's got some promise. And don't look now, but Nikhil Harry's actually shown up in camp. I mean, who knew? Um, that doesn't mean anything. Supposedly, he wants to trade it out of town. And, of course, he may be trying to sucker another team into getting involved. Now, let us also not lose sight of the fact that Cam Newton understands uh, his attitude is going to affect uh, what happens to him later on if he was to lose this job and another team needs a starting quarterback due to injury, Cam Newton would be in play, and one of the things that teams are going to look out uh, look at is Cam's attitude. I got look, I got to give Cam some credit. His attitude has been really great. One of the things I've heard from various New England podcasts is the fact that Cam Newton and Mac Jones have a great relationship, and the fact that uh, Cam has really taken Mac aside. When Mac has had issues, Cam's worked with him, and Cam's kind of a pseudo pseudo mentor for Mac Jones. And I I'm, I'm normally really hard on Cam, but after hearing that over and over again, I gotta give Cam some credit for being mature in this particular case. I mean, uh, you know, you come in, everybody thinks you're the starter, and then wham, you know, kind of the Andy Dalton thing just happened. Uh, They drafted a quarterback in the first round. Not only that, but you can blatantly tell this kid is taking my job sooner than later, okay? Um, And that's got to be rather hard for a former MVP. Uh, But everything I've heard is that Cam's had an extraordinary attitude through this whole thing. So there it is. It's not in stone that Cam Newton is going to be the week one starter for the Patriots at all. And I said, man, if the if the Patriots would have had all their starters last year and at least more competent quarterback play, and what I mean by that is the ability to do more, let's just move the ball down the field and play within the system, I'm not too sure that the, the Patriots wouldn't have won 10 games last year. I really I really believe that. This year, I think the Patriots are going to give the AFC hell, regardless of whether it's Cam Newton or Mac Jones. I'll give you a win prediction here pretty soon. But I think it's going to be much better than, than people. They better watch out for the Patriots. They really better. Peace. I'm out. Till next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.